Hello everyone, my name is Laura Garcia and I will be presenting the work entitled Personalized Flipped Classroom. The objectives of this research work are the definition, development and implementation of a new flipped classroom model that incorporates personalized learning in the home lesson, obtaining groups by levels of students' knowledge and the analysis of the learning impact from the application of personalized activities on the knowledge level of each group of students. The following figure describes the functional application of the lesson at home activities that aims to make learners acquire a specific knowledge. First, a diagnostic assessment is conducted to find out the level of prior knowledge that each learner has on a specific topic. Secondly, the contents and the personalized microactivities based on the result of the diagnostic assessment are presented. Section B represents the expository part of the concept that the learners are intended to acquire, and Section C represents the microactivity adapted to the level of learners' knowledge. In this case study, the personalized lesson under the micro-flipped teaching model has been applied with the following processes for home lesson and in-class homework. Lesson at home, figure A. Students perform the personalized lesson following the activities explained in the previous figure. Figure B. The synchronous communication system is used for learners to ask questions about both the concept and the personalized micro-activity. Figure C. Synchronous communication system can be used to make a collective tutorial, an important clarification of four dynamic systems. Figure D. Represents the acquisition of information about the learner's learning status. In class homework. Figure E. Activities to be performed in face-to-face -face class or synchronous online from the results of the micro-activities. Figure F, the micro lectures are prepared by the teacher based on the information obtained from the different activities that the students have carried out during the home lesson. Figure G, practical activities that can be traditional or activities organized by the groups associated to the level of knowledge. In this work, the assessment of their level of knowledge was left to the students' own choice. Both the concepts and the microactivities were organized in three levels. Level 1, students with a low level of knowledge regarding the subtopic they were going to work on. Level 2, intermediate level, student, students with enough knowledge to perform the microactivity and understand the concept. This level is assigned to control group. Level 3, advanced level for students who already had previous knowledge of the topic to be studied. The results of the microactivities were very low, only 18.5% of the control group and 22.8% of the experimental group performed the tasks. However, in session number four, the course student representative delivered a list of students grouped into three levels of knowledge to carry out personalized and collected tutoring at each, level, at each level, as shown on the left. The total number of students grouped by knowledge level was 17. In order to know if the students have been correctly grouped in the groups, the average grade of each student obtained in the first laboratory exam was observed. See table on the right. The first table shows the contrast of the scores between the experimental group and the control one. The grades of the students who participated in the personalized action, actions grouped by levels are analyzed at the bottom. The obje objective of making groups according to the level of knowledge has been met. The inclusion of a lesson learned adapted to the level of knowledge doesn't provide more motivation than a traditional flipped classroom. The idea of organizing learning by levels of knowledge was reconsidered by the students themselves. The impact was greater than that of the personalized class since it was carried out by 20% of the students enrolled, while in the groups carried out by the students themselves, participation was 48.6%. 
As future work, the personalized lesson will be applied with a diagnostic system so that the students don't have to choose their knowledge level and dynamic techniques will also be applied to improve a student participation in the personalized flip teaching method. Thank you for your attention.